Welcome to Ely. Prepare the train for departure before heading up to Cambridge. Empty. So insert the Matakiwi shift and W, put the reverser to neutral. Reset the AWS, leave the DRA on because the table up ahead is at danger. Um, I did look at the manual and there isn't a code for not in service for the electronic detonation. There is one for the scrolling detonation, but not the electronic one. Let's set up the GSMR. So let's keep writing this down. So this is train 5 hotel to 0. Register. 5 hotel to 0. And we're at signal 276. 276. Enter. There we go. Over here we have nothing nothing interesting. So looking taking a look outside, we need to set our taillights off, mock lights on, headlight on, and we should be ready to depart just as soon as we get our not danger aspect. Okay, it is an hour seventeen fifty, so DRA off we have a clear aspect up ahead. First to forward, brake release, power to notch three. So it's passing Ely, the speed limit is 50 miles an hour, and we have about 14 and a half miles to Cambridge. Carriage sightings. Shit, it's red. Okay, now it's yellow. Alright then. Thanks, signal. Thanks for being a troll. <laughs> so yeah, this is my second drive for the 317. I am really enjoying it. So this is the left hand driver out the window view, whatever it's called. This is the right one. Why can't AP just put the camera on the right side of the cab? What if, what, what if it, like, what if you're on a platform and you, want, and you want to look down the right side of the train to make sure your doors are closed, but you can't because your face is in the, is in the platform? I wish there was like a configurable option for it. <laughs> I love the squeaky AWS. Got a single yellow in 0.9 miles. So yeah, do um, Dovetail recently has, or I guess had, has had, depends if it's still happening, um, a sale on their store. So not on Steam, not on Steam, but on their own store. So I bought, I bought the Class 370, you know, the APT, uh, class 460 and the West Somerset Railway. You know, the railway from Maidhead to Bishop's Lidded. 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 Lid. Whatever. Maybe I should, maybe I should drive the, uh, the APT on the Trent Valley because the Trent Valley is really curvy. A green aspect, so unless, unless, unless this one is going to troll me like the last one. So we'll pass through Water Beach, Water Beach, Cambridge North, then Cambridge. Three and seven going to Ely, one Tango, four six from King's Cross.
I think that the road of the train that was going to King's Lane. Although if you have a train going to King's Cross to Ely and King's Cross to King's Lane, wouldn't it be better to divide the, divide the train at Ely? Rather than having two trains take up two paths between Cambridge and Ely. Although one train does stop at Cambridge North and the other train doesn't stop at Cambridge North. For whatever reason. So yeah, we are, we are following behind two other trains, a 387 to King's Cross and a 387 to also King's Cross. Yeah, for some reason I'm always bunged up in the morning. You know, like a block nose. Don't know why. So, dangerous specs, it should be about half a mile away. So, this, uh, this scenario is called Five Hotel to Zero. 1750 Ely to Cambridge CSD. Stop the train here at Ely before heading out to up to Cambridge CSD. Day 1610 2020. Three eight seven to Kingsland from King's Cross one Tango nine six. So I do have a video idea of doing like a class 460 cold start, if that's an option, from Shoots Lane into Victoria, you know like a, like the Forge right here from Craig and Tinney to Waverley. No, but it's different, it's because it's in a 460 and it's in London. Should it take, I don't know, should it take about 5, 10, 15 minutes? So passenger view, I really like the passenger view, especially the uh, PIS. Yeah, even, even this is timing it. Yeah, if you put in, if you put in a destination, it says this train is for the what the destination is. It's cool. So nine miles to uh, Cambridge. So the next station we'll pass through will be Water Beach. Finally, the colour aspect. So speed limit is seventy-five. Even though, even though the maximum speed of this train is a hundred. Yeah, it's a, it's a fast train. I wonder if anyone considered making it to 110. Like imagine three and seven going up 110 miles an hour.
Oh, I've got a yellow. So, what university? I have started my third year. I started it like a month ago. <laughs> Six weeks? Five weeks? So, yeah, because of COVID, the university has is completely changed. So, instead of having like normal lab sessions and normal lectures, Everything is now online. There were a few seminars, but because students get getting COVID, you know, to nobody's surprise, everything is now online. Also, because uh, I'll rephrase it. Um, also, the structure of learning has changed. So instead of doing all four units all at the same time, we now do them one at a time. And because we're doing them one at a time, they're going to be they're going to have to be a lot shorter. So instead of a unit being twenty four weeks long, it's being compressed down to six six weeks. So twenty four weeks down to six weeks. Yeah, my units have been completely rewritten, restructured, redone. I thought not so much. See, as a consequence, I'm not everything that would normally get taught in third year is being taught because of the time constraints. But it's it satisfies the BCS, you know, the British Computing Society. So I have two units at the same time. So, well, my core units and project. Project is different. It runs all year. So my first unit is programming principles and design. So like different programming paradigms like object oriented, uh, procedural, functional sorts of things. And then compilers. They're not compilers, they're things that generate your high level source code into low level machine code. Yeah, the lectures aren't that useful because they're all online. And the webinars aren't useful either because Microsoft Teams is Microsoft Teams. And so for my project, the deadline for my feasibility study was yesterday. By yesterday, it means Friday. So you're probably watching this on the Monday. So because my time management's because my time management skills are poor, I left it to the last week to actually, you know, start it by accident. <laughs> but I didn't leave it. I didn't leave it to the last minute. I left it to the last week. There's a difference. So I spent all of last Tuesday just completely rewriting my feasibility study. And then it to get back to my supervisor. He says change this, this, and this, and I change it. He said it was good, and then I submitted it on time. This is Water Beach. Just cruising through at 35 miles an hour. So I did enjoy yellow. I think it's yellow. So this is my first southbound road on the route. Cool. I should probably turn on the uh, DSD if I can figure out how to. Yeah, I told the controller day, but that doesn't seem to be working. I'll leave it off. It's annoying anyway. Yeah, 
I like how we put the I liked how I put the uh, sunset theme or well, time of day. It will look even better with dynamic lighting on it, but, but my computer is a bit of a potato. Well, my CPU is in my RAM is somewhat semi decent. My graphics card, my graphics card is the one that needs upgrading. Upgrading. One seventy to Birmingham. One November six five. So we should be coming up at Cambridge North soon. So this scenario this scenario was created for Inside a Gamer as part of his tenth scenario pack. Which is, which is what 10-1 uh, means. So, scenario pack 10, scenario 1. So yeah, each pack contains 5 scenarios of my own creation. Varying from like 10 minutes to maybe an hour. Maybe over an hour. So yeah, all, they're all of varying length. On different routes. Cool yellow and lag. Thanks, lag. It's probably trying to load in Cambridge North. I mean, Cambridge North. <laughs> Cambridge North. Cambridge North. It's, it's a big model. Well, I'm not as big as Cambridge. Cambridge North. <laughs> Yeah, I liked how in my first look video, someone commented North because North was just a, was just a destination. <laughs> yeah, the thing about 317 is that it scrolls up and down. So the first bit would be Cambridge, this, and then the second bit would be North. So when I was scrolling through it, I happened to see the North part of Cambridge North. It was funny. I have Cambridge. North. <laughs> And we have a color aspect. Green. Yay, green. So this is Cambridge North. Yeah, I, I should really change out the billboards for the new ones. Or the alternate ones. Because the alternate ones are funny. Or they're meant to be, but I don't really understand the jokes. So we have two miles to Cambridge. Two miles left. Single yellow. So we are due to Cambridge Carriage 7. So coming to Cambridge, then instead of going into the station, we're going to go left to watch the carriage sightings. So two signals is fifteen. I think the um, junctions into the CSD, I think they're automatic and not manual. Got a double yellow. Yep, sorry, my nose is just blocked for some reason. Oh, because cats, because my cats keep lying on me in the morning. It's like, I'm gonna sit on you, I don't care if you need to get up.
It's not, it's, not, it's not the same when it's like... It's not the same. Come on, frame rate. There we go. So in the card settings on the left, we have three eight sevens, pretty much. Uh, Kings Cross to Ely, one tangle for eight. So three eight sevens and a three one seven. So yeah, I looked on Google Maps at Cambridge CSD, and it was pretty empty. Maybe someday I could come here in real life and then look what's in here. So I'll slow down for the danger aspect up ahead. Scratch that, we'll, we'll go on left. So this is Cape Ridge. We have a clear shunt signal, another clear shunt signal. So uh, coming in on carriage seven. So this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this short one in a three one seven. Or these power three one sevens. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like the video if you're so inclined. Subscribe for more shares and content. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter for future video updates. Join my Discord server for screenshots and chat about things. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So slowly draw up to these buffers next to this other 317. I think Great Anglia are the only ones that still operate 317s because Great Northern ones they went ages ago. For what Wikipedia tells me. So arrival into Cambridge CSD.